This week on Silver Screen, big news in the science world, hidden talents, and New Year's resolutions. Good afternoon, Dutch Fork. Today is Friday, January 8th, and your Silver Screen report starts now. The world of science was shaken up this week as four new elements were discovered. Here's Adam Amick with the story. For the first time since 2011, new elements were discovered on the periodic table. Well, there are four. There's element 113, 115, 117, and 118. The elements are really neat. They were synthetically made, so they're not going to be used in common day use, but they will be used in manufacturing other items and such. A team of American and Russian uh, scientists have been able to make four new elements. They have to make them more than once. The discovery of these elements is a big deal in the scientific community. These new elements have completed the seventh row of the periodic table, which is a huge achievement in chemistry. It's really neat how they filled in the bottom gaps of the periodic table. It's a really good example of the nature of science. Uh, science knowledge answers how our world, how the universe around us works. And it's a really good example that this knowledge isn't constant. It changes with time, it changes with more uh, technology and more knowledge. So I think that is the biggest role, this, the biggest significance of, of these findings. This has effects on not just science, but many other fields. Authors and publishers are constantly trying to keep up with curriculum um, as history is being made every day and science's new discoveries are being made. Um, so the authors are working with the publishers and then the publishers work with the state um, Department of Education. This has been Adam Abick with your Silver Screen Report. It's a new year, so lots of people have made New Year's resolutions. But the real question is, are you going to stick to it? You know what? What's up? 2016 is my year to get in shape. <laughs> Look, you said that last year you cried the side of a treadmill every time you see one. I'm gonna show you. What are you doing? Um, I'm working out. Boy, if you don't get. Yo, I'm about to start saving a lot more money in 2016. You know, that's probably why I'm single right now. You know, girls don't really like broke boys. You are pretty broke. T, that's, that's why I don't tell you. You, know, you always try to roast somebody. You, you always try to roast. But look, in all honesty, I need to start saving because college is next year and I'm super broke. Whatever you say. Um, so what are you doing? I thought you said you were gonna save money. Um, I'm, I'm saving money, you know, picking up, saving trees, you know, this is what I do. <laughs> Boy! <laughs> My grades have been so trash. In 2016, I'm gonna get all A's. But aren't you feeling all your class? Yeah, but you'll see, you'll all see. Hey, did you get back that math test? Yeah, I got an 87, what about you? I got a... 23. What was that about all A's? You, you can just go and get out of my face. You sound like you want to fight. For this week's Kids in the Hall, we asked students about their New Year's resolutions. To get better grades in school and to make more friends. Well, the New resolutions is all get better. Bad school, makes it and and I run track this year to make more money. To get into college. Not only does Dutch Fork have a variety of talented students, we also have faculty with hidden talents. Lindsay Long takes a look at guidance receptionist Lori Seal, who is also a seamstress for the USC football team. Lori Seal, Dutch Fork's guidance receptionist, has a talent that most people do not possess. She uses this talent to help benefit clubs and organizations around the school. What I do with my seamstress work is working with uniforms, 
band uniforms, ROTC, football, uh, basketball. I work with the University of South Carolina football team and basketball teams. And I also take care of the football team here, any of the repair work that we need done here at Dutch Fork High School. And with the ROTC, I take care of all the alterations that we need done here. She sews all of our patches on our coats and our jackets and our short sleeve shirts. She fixes pants, she fixes jerseys. We have pants that split. Uh, we have jerseys that split. We have uh, name plates that we have to change. Miss Seal is very helpful to everyone in RDC because she helps sew everything up on our uniforms. Both the students and advisors of ROTC and the football team benefit from SEAL's skills. We have 143 cadets and every one of them has to have their uniforms tailored. So she tailors our, uh, our coats, our shirts, our pants. She also does that for the, uh, for the Gamecocks and that's kind of how she learned to do what she does. We just lucky, we're lucky she's on campus. Uh, she can do a turnaround within like 24 hours. When you're off campus, they, you, they, they, uh, they can take up to two weeks. I appreciate Miss Seal because she sews up our clothing whenever we need it. And we really appreciate that because in order to be a uniform football team, we have to have nice uniforms. Coaches, teachers, advisors, and students share the love and appreciation for Ms. Seal and everything she does for the community. I've enjoyed getting to know and working with coaches. I also take care of alterations and things that teachers need. She has a great personality, easy to work with, uh, one of the kindest people you ever want to meet. Always has a smile on her face. Very important to have her here. She does a, she does a lot of work. Ms. Seal is so fabulous. Like, Every time I come, walk in, she always makes me feel so comfortable, and she's always smiling no matter how much work she has on her desk. This has been Lindsay Long with your Silver Screen Report. The SAT Word of the Week is assiduous, an adjective meaning hardworking or diligent. Place up your sneakers and get ready to run to support the Dutch Fork special needs community. Zaina Dale has the details. The BF Fan Club is hosting their annual 5K on January 30th. This year, they are dedicating the 5K to Timothy W. Gibson, Sr. The purpose of the 5K is to make money for our program so that we can take kids on out-of-school field trips to uh, community places that would benefit their education. Timothy Wayne Gibson Sr. was the father of one of the special needs students who lost his life helping during the flood. Her father was a DOT, was the first DOT worker um, who was killed in the line of uh, duty. He was he was working to rescue people on the side of the road and his car, his truck got swept away and he was killed. Um, it was quite a shock to all of us and uh, we thought that this was a worthy cause. Half of the money earned from the 5K helps the students take trips that they wouldn't normally go on. The other half will go to the Make-A-Wish Foundation. You can go to the office to pick up a form to sign up. The regular price is $25 with a student discount is $15. What we will be doing is making some money that goes to our program and then we will also be contributing to the Make-A-Wish Foundation, which was a foundation who, that had just provided the family with a uh, cruise last August. This has been Zana Dill with your Silver Screen Report. What did you do over winter break? Well, not much really, but I heard Foxy the Silver Fox got to experience a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Trey Martin has the inside scoop. On New Year's Day, Dutch Fork Zone Foxy the Silver Fox traveled to Orlando, Florida to perform at pregame of the Buffalo Wild Wings Citrus Bowl. So Foxy, what was it like performing at the Citrus Bowl? Well, Foxy said that it was awesome. He went to Disney World, he got to see the Michigan cheerleaders, and he flirted with them. Uh, he performed at pregame in front of thousands of people and he also got to see the teams warm up. In his time in Florida, Foxy met a lot of new friends and also learned new skills. So what was the most memorable thing about performing at the Citrus Bowl? Well, Foxy says that it was awesome performing in front of 80,000 people and for 80,000 people to be able to see Dutch Fork High School. The game featured the Michigan Wolverines beating the Florida Gators, but Foxy is now regarded as a mascot All-American so what does it mean to you to uh, represent Dutch Fork High School on a national stage? 
Well, Foxy says that he has a lot of pride and he's proud to be able to represent Dutch Fork High School. This has been Trey Martin with your Silver Screen Report. And now for some announcements. The Literary Magazine needs your submissions. Email your original poetry, short stories, plays, and artwork to litmag at gmail.com. The Litmag staff would also love for you to join. Meetings are Thursdays after school in room 252. See Ms. Medlock Green for more information. Chess Club meets Tuesdays and Wednesdays after school in the Media Center until 5. Foursquare Club meets Mondays and Wednesdays after school in room 208. Here's Maddie with more. Thanks, Sam. Exams for semester classes continue next week. The exam schedule is as follows. 5B and 7B exams are Monday, 2A and 4A exams will be Tuesday, and 6B and 8B exams will be Wednesday. There is also not a delayed opening Wednesday. Second semester classes begin next Thursday. Friday, January 15th and Monday, January 18th are school holidays. Seniors are still expected to attend their semester classes even if they exempted. Ask your teacher for more information. Thanks for watching. Since we don't have school next Friday, we'll see you again January 22nd. Look at guidance the uh, that was way too long. Okay. What? Oh, I thought you were laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Sam is just like <laughs> that, that makes me so uncomfortable. Alex. Hold on. Oh my god. <laughs> I was just like thinking about it and I was like, why do I, where should I look? <laughs> Sneakers and giblet! <laughs>